Hello, this is a breaking news release from the International Tribunal in the Crimes of Church and State, dated Monday, February 3rd, 2014, Greenwich Mean Time. This is based on exclusive reports we've just received from Madrid and Rome. Pope Francis is named by former Argentine Junta Insider as a prime mover in child trafficking network. And Francis concealed a Vatican and Crown of England Holyrood Agreement authorizing the joint cover-up of child rape in Anglican and Catholic churches. A former civil servant in the Argentine military junta, who is living in exile in Spain, claims that Pope Francis engineered the kidnapping and trafficking of children of political prisoners during the dirty war of the 1970s, in which over 30,000 people were killed by the government. The man bases his claim on his personal involvement in meetings between Jorge Bagaglio and senior military junta members that secured the child trafficking networks using Catholic orphanages and religious bodies throughout Argentina as covers. A Spanish reporter who has interviewed the former civil servant states, quote, This witness is genuine and has many names and dates and notes for meetings. Apparently, Bergoglio was promised the top spot in the Argentine church if he cooperated with the junta and was their publicity frontman, which he was for many years. It's no wonder that as the Pope, he's made it harder for honest Catholics to report child abuse, considering his own complicity. And in related news, a Vatican source claims that former Pope Benedict, Joseph Ratzinger, secured an agreement with Queen Elizabeth as head of the Church of England to conceal child rape in that body by adopting the provisions of the canon law Crimen Solicitanus. The agreement was made at Holyrood Castle in Edinburgh on September 16, 2010, during the Pope's unprecedented visit to England that month, the first such visit in papal history. The adoption of the notorious law by Queen Elizabeth was one of the conditions for the absorption of the Anglican Church back into the Church of Rome. It compels all Anglican clergy to subvert the laws of their own countries by protecting child rapists in their ranks, silencing victims, and not telling the police of the crime. Pope Benedict resigned on February 11, 2013, followed in August by the equally unexpected resignation of Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Tarsicio Bertone, who helped to broker the Holyrood Agreement. The cancellation of Queen Elizabeth's novel trip to the Vatican in March 2013, soon after the appointment of Jorge Bagaglio as Pope Francis I, was connected to the new Pope's concerns that the Holyrood Agreement might surface. Quote, Papa Francis was determined to keep the Holyrood deal secret at whatever cost because of his own reform image and his plans to entrench crimen even more completely in church law, which he did in his July 11th apostolic letter, states the Vatican source. Quote, One of his conditions for being made pontiff was the dismissal of Bertone, who might link him to Holyrood. As a Jesuit, Il Papa knows you must feign one thing while doing another, unquote. Now, in response to these latest revelations, the International Common Law Court of Justice in Brussels is actively proceeding with its next major case in which its prosecutor's office will seek the prosecution of Pope Francis, Jorge Bergoglio, on a charge of criminal conspiracy and aiding and abetting human trafficking. The court will issue its first statement of claim and summonses to Pope Francis and other parties no later than March 30th, 2014. The same court issued a legal declaration on August 4, 2013, naming the Crown of England and the Roman Catholic Church as transnational criminal bodies under international law. Further consequences of these facts will be disclosed this Friday, February 7th, at a special press conference convened by ITCCS Field Secretary Kevin Annett, commencing at 11 a.m. outside the Canadian Consulate in New York City at 1251 Avenue of the Americas. Please follow itccs.org for more updates. This is a news update from the ITCCS in Brussels. We thank you.